Thinkstra X kit, Sigfox development kit. In the box, we get some instructions, importantly covering the power configuration for the board. We get an aerial, a 9 volt battery clip, a USB cable, and the Sigfox X kit itself. There's also usually two stickers in the kit, uh, which give you the Sigfox device ID and things like that. I've got one on the side of my box and I put the other on the bottom of the board so that I never lose it. Now the X-Kit itself is an Arduino Uno board on the bottom, a board there, and a Sigfox communication shell on top. Number of ports, USB ports, power ports, and also a bunch of jumpers on top. To get this up and running, step one would be to install the aerial, which simply screws on. And then, importantly, before we connect it to power or anything else, we're going to go through and following the card, set the jumper configuration correctly. I like to power these from USB. Uh, simply plug a USB cable from the Arduino board into a laptop or, or basically any USB supply, iPhone charger, etc. Now once I've set the jumpers correctly and plugged my USB into a power supply, I simply plug it into the port on the Arduino and I can see the little red light comes on and after a while that's going to boot up and start going through a flashing sequence and it's going to go and send data to the Sigfox network once it has a connection. By default the program in these will send data every 10 minutes. If I want it to go faster there's a little switch just here which I can press and it will go through and send data immediately which you can see by the blue light. And there you have it. One Thinkstra X kit configured and sending data to the cloud. Thanks for watching.